Hey guys, what's up? This is a video from Liquid Illusion. It's a little different from what we usually post, but uh, I think it's something that needs to be shared. So I'm gonna apologize if the mic quality isn't best and uh, if the gameplay isn't best, but I really believe that what I have to say is very important, especially for people that want to make money in Red Dead Redemption 2. So the way we're gonna do it is via the one and only collector roll. Now the collector roll is where you collect various items around the map, such as. Um, jewelry, coins, whatever it is really I don't remember all of them but you get the gist of it you go around collecting these items to make these valuable sets and then when you make these valuable sets you can sell at a much higher profit this allows you to collect a lot of money now if I remember correctly I can make roughly around $1,000 an hour or a little more and I don't need to grind that much because so I'll be honest with you, you do sometimes get boring but um, that's the thing with it you don't want to burn yourself out completely so you know dedicate some time to it but not all of the time if you know what if you understand what I'm trying to say so um, the added benefits of it I'll go later on to the video but basically what you have to do is go around collect stuff around the map as I said and then later on collect it I will leave a link below in the description the map the collector map this collector map allows you to collect um, I'll show you the locations of where the items are that you're trying to collect. It's easy, select the items that you want to collect, go in there and go to the location via the game and collect the thing. It gives you a little description of where the location is so in case you're struggling to do it and also you can cross it out when you're done. So there's a very very useful website. Now um, aside from that, that means you don't have to waste any money on getting maps. Maps can be a bit expensive and um, it's very expensive at the beginning to get the collector roll, you need to get spend around 15 bars to get the collector bag but uh, after that it's worth your money completely now for anyone who doesn't have 15 gold bars I can make a video if you want me below on how to get those 15 gold bars in the description also I can make another video um, explaining some rolls in further detail however this roll in my experience gives the most XP so that means I can rank up very quickly, meaning that I can easily pass those five rank bounders. You know what I'm talking about? Those um, those boundaries that you have when you're trying to um, you know, when you get those maps or the or the treasure maps. So that means you can get more gold and more money. So it's very easy to rank up using this roll, and also it's very easy to rank up the collector roll. Yeah, so at the beginning it will be much harder for some of you guys because obviously you know in a high rank up level in the collector role to get the various items such as the spade or the metal detector and those are the only two items I recommend getting. I don't think it's worth getting the binoculars because the eggs are not really worth it because sometimes you may be able to crack them and it's also just a pain trying to find them because sometimes they'll be lurking up in the mountains. It's not as straightforward, straightforward as collecting other items. So that's what I suggest you do is collect any items that you can that are worth the most money you can search out and if you want um, and you have any questions in the comments below I'll be more than happy to answer them as to which items you should collect and yeah that's it however I would say that it the only problem with this method is that you don't get gold bars from it but you will be able to make up for it when you rank up quickly so there there and I think you get around 300 collector rock XP and 300 normal XP from the um, extraction. So when you get a melt coin, you get 300 XP and 300 collector rock XP. So that's really worth it in terms of ranking up. And to be fair, that from my experience, this was one of the quickest ways I made money. And it's somewhat fun going around the map, seeing locations you don't usually see all the time. And it lets you appreciate the game a lot more. So yeah, I strongly recommend you to. Uh, go and try this roll out. Now for anyone that has any questions please please ask me in the comments below and then make sure in the future videos I make my things better. Uh, my content better so my dummies my gameplay and my mic audio but I found it very important that I shared with you this. Um, also make sure you try to collect as much as you can so when you have the website that I'm going to link you guys to it below um, you can select which items you want so go for the ones that you think are valuable it will show you the worth on the game you can look for the value of it on the internet as well up to you how you do that but yeah go check the worth and see whether it's worth your time or not 
Or if you just want to collect it, collect, you know. It's not always about money. It's also about, you know, just going around the game. But I'm pretty sure that if you guys want to grind properly, you can get roughly five hours. Roughly how much? Um, $8,000. So, it's really worth it. And I got a beautiful horse after this video. A, um, one of the fastest horses in the game, I think it was the, um, not the, uh, it's called the Tarkoman. I'm not even sure. But yeah, because of this, it allowed me to get, get a very good horse. And because of the easy rank ups, I was allowed to get a good saddle and good stirrups. So it was a very, very, very useful role. So yeah, that's all I have to say in this video. If you have any issues, please comment below. And I'll try my very best to help you. Any questions? And I'm pretty sure if anyone else sees them, they would also try to help you out. Um, yeah, so I really hope that helped you guys out. I uh, will apologize again for the mic audio and the gameplay. I'll make sure in future videos uh, I'll be better in it. Can't promise you that. But I felt like what I had to say was very important and more important than the aesthetics of the video. So thank you very much and uh, have a good day.